medical students across the country now know where their next steps will be, including graduates at ECU's Brody School of Medicine. WNCT's Zora Stevenson was at ECU's match day ceremony. She has more on why the day is special for the students and their families. Tears. <laughs> claps. And all sorts of celebrations. It's the culmination of many years of hard work for all of us. Everybody just finding out where that next step is going to be and kind of coming together with their families. Match day. For some, it's even better than graduation. Demetria Watford Robinson. There you go. Before medical students can provide patient care, they must complete a residency. At a ceremony, students open an envelope, and inside is their destination. Among the 64 graduates are 64 different stories. There's an Iraq and Afghanistan veteran and father who wants to serve rural communities. What I've learned within the military medical system as a medic uh, can really help the underserved populations of smaller communities. When you're called to something, you're called to something, and he was clearly called, and that's just amazing to watch. There's also a couple who will be moving closer to family. A lot of relief. Yes. Very happy. Um, Incredibly so excited, yeah. yeah. And their loved ones couldn't be happier. His dad passed about 10 years ago, and it's been kind of hard for, you know, him or through things or for me through things, so so nice to have him close by. Through all the emotions, the students, are just excited they're one step closer to having their dreams come true. It's been a long road to get to this point and all of us are just so excited and so grateful to be here. While 64 people are graduating, two plan to continue their education rather than complete a residency. In Greenville, Zora Stevenson, not on your side. 47% of graduates will remain in North Carolina for their residency. Among those matched today was our Jessica Jewell's sister, and we wish her and all of the students the best in their next steps.